my name is Paul Wilkinson and I'm a co-author along with Sarah Plater of Mastering Portrait Photography. In the next 60 seconds we're going to show you uh, an outdoor photography shoot with a small child, some grey light, it wasn't a particularly bright day, uh, and uh, a few bits and pieces how we do it. First off, light. Lots of tricks to this, look at the character of the light in your hand, it gives you a good idea. Um, the light must light the subject to give dimensionality, it should also be flattering, uh, but I'm also looking predominantly for catch lights in the eyes. It's a good tell if you have a catch light in the upper quadrant of an eye, preferably slightly off centre, the odds are you have a half decent lighting pattern to work with. After that, I'm looking for background. The background and the foreground, the narrative that I'm going to place my subject, and I'm looking at where I'm going to place my subject. For me, the way I've always done it is I envisage a picture drawing, a, a pencil drawing rather, as if I was going to draw it. Um, if I'm going to draw it, it slows me down a little bit and helps me construct the image. Everybody has their own vehicle for this. Mine is a pencil drawing. E. H. Shepard. Go look at E. H. Shepard's drawings. After that, I'm looking at posing. Now, with children, posing is not going to happen. More a little bit of magic and a little bit of luck. You've got to be warm-hearted. You've got to be big-hearted. Uh, you have to be able to make the child smile. And I have a team around me. Uh, I've got Sarah Plater, the, my co-author, uh, filming this, who's also helping interact. I've got the child's mum, Julia. I've also got Meg. Uh, on a reflector because it's such a dark day I'm actually using reflector which is something I don't normally do after that I am looking for the image the technique my camera technique it's critical you cannot do this without at least some camera technique it doesn't have to be you don't have to be a guru with an SLR but you do have to know what you're doing I need a very shallow depth of field for this I'm running at f2.8 at about a 90th of a second 